Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Turk and I'm back with another video. But before we get started, I know it's kind of late. What time is it right now? It's Turk time. I live forever, I don't ever die. Murder, murder, murder on my mind. Line after line after line. Time after time, I'ma thrive. Push a button, then I start to drive. Surf boy ripping through the ties. Power range of mighty morphin time. Okay, so no, I'm not sponsored by Corona. I don't even drink beer, but I have some news for you. I know I kind of, uh, I, I gave you a little snippet or, or a reel that I made on Instagram about my car accident. Never really spoke about it. Instead, I gave you a chip video, which was, it was funny. I mean, it's funny now that I look back on it, but it wasn't funny at the time. Cause like that was real, that was real pain. But anyways, this video, is just to tell you about how I got into that major car accident and what I walked away with. And if you're asking about this background and why is it set up like this, I'll explain in the next video. But you won't have to wait long for it, I promise. I'm trying to be more active. I know I always say this, but you know, give me a break. I'm I'm a working man, you know, two full-time jobs. I got new responsibilities and, uh, you know, I, I'm just here being a man's man and uh, I don't really have time for the YouTube, but you know, I'm coming back. Anyways, I don't wanna ramble too long. I'm gonna make this story short as I can. So make sure you're listening and listen closely. And if you miss anything, you know, just rewind it and, and play it again. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe and here we go. Okay, so I'm getting into a different uh, field of work, you know. Um, this is gonna be my last year playing semi-pro football for sure. I can't do it no more, I can't make the commitment and it's not benefiting me at this point and my love for it will always be there but you know, my body is not trying to let me continue doing that. So I'm venturing off. I went to a fashion show in uh, Taunton, Massachusetts. Um, I want to get into fashion or the field of fashion, not necessarily fashion itself. Um, you know, it goes hand in hand in what I'm working with. So I went there to network. I wanted to meet people, you know, try on their clothes, um, potentially meet people in my field and gain some interest in followers while I do it. In the midst of that, you know, it's a long night been there um i had a little uh incident before then so i kind of went there kind of hot so i wasn't really open to networking but i was still there to do a job and i paid a hundred dollars to be in the front row so that's what i was gonna do so i get there um everything's cool they had a fire alarm there was a little break in the system um there was no fire just the fire alarm went off and we had to wait a few hours, I mean, not a few hours, we had to wait a few minutes before we could go back upstairs and finish the show. At this point, the show's over. Now we're going to the after party, which is downstairs in the lobby of this hotel. And this is when people mingle and start to network. So I start to network. At this point, it's probably about uh, a little past 12. I start to get tired and I'm just like, you know, I came here by myself because I decided in 2022, I'm not waiting on no one. And that's what I've been doing so far. I would invite people out, you know, if they're not with it, I would go by myself. And that's what I'm going to continue to do. I don't feel bad for doing so. I do that and I'm driving home. Of course, it's like maybe a 40 minute ride home, close to it, maybe 35, 40 minutes. Same difference, you know? round up. So I got my GPS on because I really don't know my way even though it's like a straight line. Once I get maybe 20 minutes away, that's why I know I, I have like a 20 minute range from home. Anyways, let me get to it, right? I'm listening to the boxing match um, on YouTube. Somebody's like doing the commentary and he's speaking about the boxing match. It was one of the Charlos. Um, one of his last fights. I forget who he is fighting. I'm sorry. In the midst of that, you know, I'm, I'm feeling a little tired. So 
I'm in the left lane, you know, the fast lane, because I'm trying to get home. I'm doing like 80 on the way home. I'm, this is how I always move for the most part, you know. And I start to feel a little tired, so your boy dozes off. Just for like a few seconds, just a few seconds. It wasn't no, I was gone for like minutes. It was just like, you know, like you're in class when those head nods like that and something like that, right? So I do one of those little nods. And when I get up, like when I open my eyes, I'm slowly going to the right lane and there's a car right there. Mind you, I'm going about 80 at this point, maybe 90. And I'm on this car's bumper, so I kind of like, oh, I jerk to the left lane and I lose control. Like I jerk to the left lane to get back in my lane so I don't hit this car that I'm about to rear in. And I swerve and I can hear it go, you know, it's making a swerve sound. When I swerve left, I kind of lose control. Not kind of, I lost control. So I hear it swerving. And then I'm trying to fix myself. So I swerve right. I can feel myself going all the way right. And I'm like, oh, not the woods. Not the woods. So I swerve left one more time. And I try to step on the brakes. And I lost full control. And I hit the median. Boom. Like, it, it looked like an old Batman punch. Like, I just seen black and then a white flash. I have a pickup truck. The thing, like, it, it looked like it, it felt like it went straight up and then on its back, like flat on its back, like if he was to flip a pancake in a pan, like straight up and then flat on his back. I don't know how, I, I still don't understand, but I, I promise you, my windshield felt like it just opened up like a ramp. Like, it, it like, I'm, crawling on all fours i'm on the roof of the car the ceiling of it because i'm inside and um the thing the the windshield opens like a ramp and i just crawl out and when i crawl out three cars pull over and they're asking me am i okay and i'm still next to the median and i'm like should i run across like get behind the barricade and I crawled out very fast it took me like two seconds I promise you because what I was thinking I don't know if there was a car traveling behind me that's about to come clean me up so I run across to the barricade some guy is like hey you should call the police I'm like man I'm in between where I'm coming from and home I don't even know where I'm at like I know what direction I'm going to but I don't know exactly where I'm at or whatnot. So him and his wife called the police. It was actually a, a Caucasian man who stopped and made sure he called the police. He said, hey, you're alive. He hugged me about four times real tight and said, hey, I have to go. I'm glad you're alive. And he went on his way. It's like every year around this time I end up in this situation. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. So the EMTs came, tow truck came. They picked up my truck, brought it to wherever. Um, I had to go to the hospital and they treated me for my injuries, which was a few scratches, you know. The back of my head was like a little, uh, not bruised, but scratched up because of the glass. You know, I had glass on the back of my arms and on my palms from like crawling or whatnot. My worst injury was I bit through my tongue, like almost completely, like 90%, like straight bit through my tongue. It was, it, my, my tongue was swollen and I could not talk. Like, you ever see the mummy when the guy got his tongue taken and he's like talking really weird? I'm so pleased to meet you. That, that was me for like two weeks. I couldn't eat anything solid. Uh, I had to eat applesauce and like pudding for two weeks. I was not wearing a seatbelt at this time. Luckily, my worst injury was my tongue and uh, click it a ticket, wear your seatbelts and don't go to sleep on the road. If you feel like you're tired, you know, even if it's just a quick nod and 
me, I'm thinking I'll be home in 15 minutes is okay. And I always, always do this. Ask anybody I know, like, I'm only 15 minutes from home. If I was an hour from home, yeah, I would let you take over talking to the passenger. But I'm only 15 minutes. I, I'll thug it out. I'm not going to thug it out no more. I, I messed up. And uh, I regret it. And now I do not have a truck. I'm not saying I don't have a car, but I do not have a truck. And that truck was my baby. I didn't even have it for a full year. So, um, it was an older truck. It was uh, to experiment on. And I figured, I, I love my pickup trucks. So, that's what I'm working towards. Um, and I got more content for you on the way. Stay on the lookout. Your boy's here. Your boy's back. Stay tuned in. Like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys, too. I'm still here, so we're not going to dwell on it too much. Thank you. I'm out. Dad, what's wrong? Had hit me now. I'm sipping on the deuce deuce. I just wanted to get big on YouTube. Mm-hmm. I'm still here. Well, while you're here, go ahead and click that like button. And the subscribe button. Okay, the notification bell too. Leave a comment saying you did so. Lastly, click the video on the right for more cool content. It's Turp time.